Hi everybody. <clears throat> hi, hi everybody. What is that? Hey everybody, this is Joel coming at you live from my parents' basement under the stairs, of course. Also known as Christmas Chronicles from Under the Stairs. <laughs> So this Chronicle post is about um, families. It's a family edition. Oh, Christmas. So I didn't want to, nope. So I didn't really want to post about pandemic every single Chronicle that I'm doing uh, because we all talk about pandemic constantly. Pandemic, pandemic, pandemic. Uh, but this is about pandemic because um, I think the biggest thing that's affecting everyone right now during the holiday season is that we're not able to be around our family and friends. Uh, so we've, I think, like I know I have taken it for granted um, over the years not being home for Christmas. Um, so now kind of we all are in a way, but we can't have our family and friends as close as we want them to, unfortunately. However, that time is gonna come when pandemic is over sooner than later. Um, and we're gonna have all the parties and everyone over <laughs> as much as we want once again. So these are some tips for when you have family come over for Christmas. Now, I don't know about you, but I have a big family. Not like big, like, um, like octuplets everywhere, but just like a lot of, you know, family, a lot of cousins, aunts, uncles that I love very much. And also like best friends that I refer to as family as well. So I'm very blessed to have a big family um, that I can't really see right now, which is very unfortunate. Um, but um, here's just some tips for when you do have family come over. Um, I know growing up, <laughs> I was a surprise, surprise. I was kind of a loser and I was a little tyke, a little as big as a minute. Okay, I know, stop right now. I know exactly who's saying right now, what you're saying. Nothing's changed, Joel. Okay, that's great. Okay, I was a loser. Big day loser on my head. I remember going to family functions and so many functions where I didn't know anybody. You know, like I, when you're a kid, you're as big as a minute. You don't know anybody. Like, you know your parents really well. That's it, you know. Or your older sister, who from time to time sees you because she babysits you, but doesn't actually babysit you because she's upstairs in her bedroom making it with her boyfriend. hey -o. <laughs> Just kidding. Julie would never do that. But shoulda, coulda, woulda. Moving on. However, so here's some tips. Uh, when you do have family come over, uh, for Christmas, we all have different walks of life in our family. So, first tip. If you do have a kind of aunt that's a bit older and not really all there, you know what I'm saying? Um, and she brings a box that's badly wrapped, and if you put your ear to it and you hear meowing, or you hear a dog bark, or you hear scratching, open the box right away. Don't wait till December 25th, please. Weird aunt. Check. If you have an older grandpa uh, that's coming that's kind of a bit grumpy and they yell at you to go get my stogie. Tip. Stogie is slang for cigar. And so you go find one right away, a cigar or something that looks like a cigar and put that right in his mouth <laughs> to shut him up. Um, I know for sure that would go not really well here because Lord knows that we have no cigars here. <laughs> Angry old man. Check. If you have an older uncle that's kind of rough around the edges, you know, um, kind of a bit annoying to be around but has a heart of gold, give him all the patience possible because you might have a really funny conversation with them. Um, or not, but just be patient with them, okay? Check. If you have a little kid that comes to the party or a bunch of kids that come to the party, just assume they're weird. Kids are weird. They're not adults yet. They don't know how to think. They don't know anything. So of course they're weird. But if you see a little big as a minute person in the corner of the party, not saying anything because they might be shy or because they have no tongue, um, just give them the time of day uh, because they'll remember it forever. Trust me, loser kids. Check. If you have somebody who's, you know, a cook and brings something to the party to eat, um, it doesn't go the right way that they want it to, um, be patient. Um, suck it up because there's a lot of countries in the world that have no food. Um, so you cut that dry as heck turkey, dip it in that Chardonnay, and pound it back. It's food. It's fine. It's the holidays. And they probably worked really, really hard on it. So don't complain. Eat it and smile. Bad cooks at the party. Check. So here's a helpful family holiday tip. Uh, it's gonna take some effort. Sorry about that. 
Uh, but if you go to a Christmas party with your family and friends and you know that someone else at the party doesn't celebrate Christmas, they celebrate a different holiday, that's great. So just take a second, pull out your smartphone because everyone has them or find someone who does. Look up what the holiday greeting is in their holiday and present that to them. Following it up with a Merry Christmas because that's important to you too. Go up to somebody and say, Feliz Navidad, Merry Christmas, or Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, because they will never forget it. And it just shows that you're a nice, kind person. Foreign guests at the party. Check. Last tip with family um, at parties or whatever, get togethers. Um, tell them you love them. That's it. You love them. That's the best gift you can give during the holidays. So make sure you all do that this year. Uh, but next year, ooh! Party, 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 party. <laughs> Just kidding. No, but like um, everyone's family is different. So, I mean, don't listen to these tips. It's totally fine. But I hope that these tips help you with your family get togethers when we all can do it again. I thank you very much for watching another episode of Christmas Chronicles from Under the Stairs. And if you liked what you saw, <laughs> leave a comment, leave a question for me to answer below. And if you didn't like what you saw, <sighs> okay, bye.